What's going on, guys? Um, today, I am joined by my good friend Ray. Ray, what's going on? Yeah, what's up, Wolf? <laughs> so, most of you should- <laughs> I'm like eating, so. <laughs> um, I hope they can't hear me, like, chewing and stuff. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be- it's gonna come through crystal clear. Get right- right up close to the mic. Um, oh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, for those of you who don't know, uh, which is hopefully nobody, Ray is the three-time world champion. He won in 2010, 2011, and 2012. Uh, he actually beat me in the world's final in 2012. However, today we find ourselves in a, in a very similar predicament. Um, the Players Cup had an online qualifier, and both Ray and I made it through. However, neither Ray nor I has a have has have a neither Ray nor I have a team, and so we've teamed up together. We're going to try and put our four combined world championship brains together and try and build a team. But the issue is that it's currently Thursday, 12:30 in the morning, and our team lock is in like. 32 hours or something 34 hours hey, that's plenty of time that's so much time we're so good but yeah so that's that's the premise here um this is kind of the only bit that i want to do where it's kind of interacting like more youtube content because we we do have to be serious here because we do not have a team so um yeah yeah right did i miss and, you anything? know i'm gonna be playing in this tournament it's gonna be like 3 or 4 a.m my time mm -hmm. and i'm trying to win like every game so i can <laughs> stop playing as soon as possible and go to bed yeah because it's double elimination so basically the earlier you lose like the worse it is. if you the, every if you it's like, if you're in the loser's bracket, I think you have to play twice as many games as the people in the winner's bracket. So, like, delaying losing is good, and also, like, not losing at all is the best. But it's a pretty hard tournament, it's from, like, 256 people down to four uh, via double elimination. So, it's difficult, for sure. Um, but, yeah. So, Ray, I, I, we haven't talked about this. Okay. Do you know, all the, like, what's your familiarity with Jenny? Do you know all the new Pokemon? Do you know the new moves? Like, what, give me, like, a general... Baseline. Well, why you, you got to ask me that right off the bat? Okay, would you rather? Right. Wait, you want to ask the first question? It's cool. You can ask me. Oh, no, <laughs> I'll, I'll answer it. So, yeah. the game first came out. You know, I was playing it every day for the first week. Mm -hmm. I was into it. You know, beating the game, beating the story mode, doing some raids on Wi-Fi. Uh huh. And then I just like totally stopped playing, okay. like completely, until okay. uh, coronavirus. I hit rock bottom boredom, and I was like, you know what? Let me train for a week for this Players Cup tournament right, and try you, and qualify. Yeah. So, and you made it through. What did you use? I just copied that uh, Charizard, Torkoal, Venusaur, Trick Room team. Yeah. I used, uh, I used your uh, Body Press Torkoal. It's it was good, so right? Good. Yeah, it's actually it was really so good. good. <laughs> I actually wanted to talk to you about uh, Body Press Torkoal because they they came out with uh, G-Max Venusaur, so I think that could actually be kind of strong. Yeah, I saw that. Um, so like, I'm kind of familiar with this stuff. You know, I was reading up on it, and I played for a week. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I can't say I know all the Pokemon's names, but, you know... I got the gist of what they all do and stuff. Right, and that's honestly, I think, more important. Like, and uh, just so you're aware, I haven't played very much at all in the last, like, since before the DLC came out. So, uh, basically, the last month or so, I've been very... I, like, have played a little bit for, like, YouTube content, but, like, my I ha I'm, like, very out of the metagame right now. I've been playing a little bit the last two days to kind of try and get back in, but it's been probably less than 15 games total, so... Um, I gotcha. Yeah, I know, like, what stuff is getting used and what's kind of popular right now right like psychic spam and uh mm -hmm. some of the more popular stuff in the dlc mm -hmm. but like, I know yeah Vita i haven't big... played at all so right okay so what do you think is the best way to approach this then like we can kind of i can like make like a threat list of things that we need to be aware of but although that, that might be a little hard because like neither you are super familiar but there's a couple stuff we need to be aware of off the bat right yeah for sure like uh i think it's maybe more important when we're trying to fill out our team making sure we're able to counter everything that's or at least as much of what's popular as we can. Mm -hmm. But usually I like to kind of have, I guess have a core of Pokemon that I, you know, I, I'm really confident in and then try and build around them and go from there, I guess. Okay. I don't know if that still works these days, but it's kind of how I like to approach it. Yeah, no, I'm the same way. I'm 100% I'm the same way. We can also build a core and then just play some games in the ladder and then um, like see what we lose to and go from there. Like we don't have to start with the metagame in mind per se yeah yeah for sure um so do you have anything in mind that you think could be strong because i have a couple ideas but they're all pretty non-fleshed out okay well give me your ideas first <laughs> sure, sure sure okay so um one i'll just tell you everything i think is strong and then we can kind of go from there so okay um i think porygon 2 is very very strong um yeah i a bolt beam actually has surprisingly good coverage and it's very very bulky um, however, if you're going to run Porygon 2, I think you have to be very... Not, I don't want to run Porygon 2, I think, is like a, as, like, a primary mode. Like, as, like, a full Trick Room Porygon 2 setup. But I think as, like, Porygon 2 plus Trick Room Sweeper plus, like, kind of ambiguous support Pokemon, like a Cinnaroar or Amoongus, I think could be strong. Um, yeah, I'm 100% the same way on that. I actually like that kind of 
team style mm -hmm. myself. So I've given some thoughts of what could pair with it. I thought about Hatterini a little bit because, like, I think when you're using Porygon 2, you have to be pretty mindful of Amoongus um, because, yeah. like, yeah, it can just spore everything. Uh, I also that's just... one point slower, right? Uh, Hat is one point slower. That's correct. Yeah, um, yeah. Good call. And the other thing that I'm considering is a Scavalier because, like, a Scavalier actually gets knockoff, Ooh. which is really good, and obviously Overcoat, and then it gets, like, close combat, and Megahorn and Steel Spike are both good. Like, you probably yeah, remember Salt Yeah, I've... Yeah, I've uh, seen a trailer and a couple other people talking about it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, hey, I won Worlds with this Cavalier, so that's right. I'm down to use it. That's right, that's right. I think it's pretty solid. I haven't tested it at all, though, so that's just something that I, I have in mind. Um, I think Alolan okay. Marowak is also very, very strong. Dynamax buffs yeah. it enormously, I think. But uh, Yeah, for sure. My issue with Alolan Marowak is that it, it's faster than Amoongus, and it doesn't. you can't run safety goggles on it because it needs Thick Club, obviously. So, like... When you run it with yeah. Porygon 2, you have to be really intentional about how you're going to stop Spore because you can set Trick Room up and like Dynamax and take a kill, but then like then Amoongus comes in and it's nap time, you know, and I don't really know what to do about that. Yeah, you don't want to waste your Dynamax turns doing nothing. Mm -hmm. That's that's big. Yeah. Um. So there's that. Uh, Cabalion, I think, is actually stronger than Terrakion right now. Um, yeah. I was thinking the same. Like, I don't know. Like, it's max moves are. I think the Steel Max move is better than the Rock Max oh, move. I think the Bulk helps it a lot. You can run like Assault Vest on it. Mm -hmm. um, they're the same speed. And once you get beat up, I mean, it, its attack is going to be enormous, especially if you max it. Mm -hmm. and you so I think it's pretty good. And Dragapult, I think, gets uh, beat up. That's correct. Of course, Whimsicott too, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, Dragapult can do, like, everything, it feels like. It really can. It has four move slot syndrome, but I like Dragapult. I like support Dragapult specifically as well. Um... So, the other thing about Cabalion is it actually gets access to Bounce, which isn't something Terrakion has, so you can use it with, like, oh, Airstream as well. Um, that's pretty good. Yeah, because I feel like Cabalion's main weakness has always been the lack of power and, like, the poor special defense, but with the Salt Vest, Dynamax, and then, like, uh, like Dynamax both defensively and offensively, you cover a lot of that. So, um, I was messing around a little bit with, like, Whimsicott, Cabalion, Dragapult, and Cineroar Core. Um, but the, mm -hmm. the Dragapult was actually weakness policy, super slow and bulky, because I figured you can use beat up to proc Dragapult's weakness policy. Uh, it was okay, mm -hmm. like, parts of the team felt strong, but, um, I wasn't super sold on it overall. Like, the strongest parts of the team were honestly, like, pouring on two next to Incineroar, truthfully. Yeah, I'd actually been thinking about a similar idea, although I never built a team and tested it, but I was thinking, like, just a Dragapult plus Cobalion 2 duo, mm -hmm. and then, like, uh, maybe a Trick Room option in the back, like... Porygon 2, Incineroar, mm -hmm. Trick Room Sweeper, Amoongus, something like that. I keep Dust coming Pop back to Incineroar Amoongus just looks so good. I'm 100% with you there. Um, yeah, although, I don't know, like, the Grass Starter for a Grass type, he looks pretty strong too. Yeah, he's, he's like on a, apparently he's on like a third of all teams right now, so we do have to be yeah. aware of that. Um, yeah, I think I think it's very it's very strong, uh, Grass Monkey, but yeah, the other thing about Incineroar Amoongus is also like they don't have a lot of like offensive pressure so if you're gonna like we probably i probably wouldn't want to do incineroar amoongus and porygon 2 all together because yeah that's the thing yeah like there's a lot of great support pokemon right now but filling them in seems tough um and yeah i think the other thing that i think is that i thought like i thought rain was strong in theory but every time i've tried it it's felt underwhelming so like we can mess around yeah, with it but i've like never really been a huge fan of rain, rain. i guess for the entire time i've been playing vgc like it's always been good but it's mm -hmm. i've just never felt like it's you know the top tier team or one of the top tier teams yeah i guess unless you include just randomly having kyogre is well yeah Kyogre, Kyogre's Kyogre's Kyogre's, own story. Kyogre's broken but yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah you know what i mean <laughs> yeah like i like i like polytoad as a defensive pokemon but i've never really loved teams centered around rain as a, yeah. as a weather condition so i'm with you there and there's yep. a lot of weather right now like especially with max move so it's hard to like yeah you can yeah you can easily change the weather and stuff although the new speed uh, mechanic i think helps a little good. bit like you 100%. don't have to lead Polytoad Kingdra or anything. Yeah, but Dynamax as a, like, like, you need Kingdra to be one-shotting stuff if you want it to, like, you know, be good, and, like, with Dynamax, like, it's harder, so, um... Yep, I'm yeah. with you there. Mm, uh, the last thing that I, I have in mind is, like, I think that G-Max Venusaur should be really strong. Like, I've won, tor or, I've built teams that have won tournaments, both with G-Max Charizard and, and G-Max Colossal, who have the same effect, and, like, I feel like, once again, people are underestimating the, just how much passive damage you do with those moves, and, like, it's actually insane. Um, and although there's yeah, a lot of grass right now, yeah, for sure. Um, so that's a ton of passive damage, mm -hmm. like My on both Pokemon mm -hmm. for what four turns? That's it's four a lot. Turns. That adds up. Yeah, it's it's um, one sixth of their health on each Pokemon for four turns. So like you can yeah, do up that's... to uh, like like 133 percent or something crazy. 
Um, yep, I'm with you there. So I think that's pretty much it. My like, I I, I like wanna. I feel the way about sun that you feel about rain, which is like, it can be good, but it's like I feel like it's inconsistent. Um, so yeah, that's like the one my one hesitation because Venusaur is inherently inconsistent with sleep powder, and then, um, I like bulky Torkoal, but yeah, uh, it's it's tricky. Me but too. Yeah. Um, so I think that's pretty much where I'm at. Escavalier, I think it'd be strong. I like Porygon two a lot. Um, I, I I'm interested in Cabalion. I'm interested in, in G Max Venusaur and. and I'm sure we'll discover other stuff as well, but yeah, that's kind of where my head is generally at. So, yeah, now that I've now that I've kind of given my baseline, what do you what are your thoughts on all that? Um, I really like uh, Escavalier. I think, I mean, I've always been a fan of it just because it's cool. Mm -hmm. But I like its ability. I like its max moves. Um, doubling its HP when it Dynamax is really good. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing I'm not sure of because I've never actually tested it is. Uh, like, does it do enough damage to be, uh, you know, I guess our lone Trick Room Sweeper if we were to use it? If, like, if we went Porygon 2, Escavalier, Incineroar, and then some other random stuff, are we, uh, you know, are we going to be able to take full advantage of our Trick Room if we have, like, P2 and Escavalier out on the field? So my, my hesitation... Are there going to be, like, specific Pokemon that just kind of ruin that? So I think, I think, unfortunately, it's probably the latter because, like... Pretty much any fire type is going to be difficult for a Scavalier, but then also, I'm worried about the being... drill run, right? Yeah, it also it's close combat now, and a lot of like the like and knockoff. Like I was thinking we'd probably run close combat knockoff bug steel, um, but even mm. run drill run as well. Um, but um, my my main hesitation, honestly, is that I think it will do enough damage, but how, like not if it's intimidated, you know? Yeah, that's a good point. Intimidate kind of ruins it. Yeah, we could do dust clops as well with haze, though I'm not. I'm not sure how much that would help because we'd have to have a scavenger yeah. be outspeeding dust clops so that it was un it would underspeed and trick room so we could haze him after it got intimidated and at that point like why not just use like conflitter or something yeah yeah um but i think it's something we should consider because I, I haven't tested it yet it's just something that's been in my head or like i tested it for one game and didn't bring it so yeah i haven't tested it okay is there any way we can uh ruin amoongus without like what if we have porygon 2 plus trick room sweeper that's maybe you know, weak to Amoongus, whether it's Azumarill or something else. But then we have Pokemon, uh, you know, filling out the rest of the team that just wreck Amoongus, whether it's, like you mentioned, Hat before, or uh, what's that? Uh, what's the psychic thing that gets Follow Me? Indeedy? Yeah, 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 that thing. Yeah, that thing's cool. Uh, yeah, I feel like maybe Incineroar too. But then, it, I don't know, and then it feels like it's too much of a hard trick room team yeah we need all that kind of stuff but i think we might be able to work around amoongus like i think the other option is like we can use a we can use a trick room sleeper and just give it safety goggles but the yeah. issue is that the other one i had in mind was like marowak which obviously you can't do that on but we can consider it or like a pokemon like hatterini can work as well um so mm. yeah but it sounds like we're on the same page that porygon 2 is strong at the very least right yeah, I love Trick Room hybrid teams, yeah. personally, and Porygon 2 just isn't really weak to a whole lot, and no. fighting uh, max moves are a lot weaker mm -hmm. than the other max moves, so I feel like there's nothing that's one-shotting it yeah, I agree. without a significant boost. Um, yeah, so okay. So at least at least we have some kind of starting point. Hybrid Trick Room team, um, and Porygon 2 is probably the setter. Yep. Yeah, unless... I feel like unless you're going for like a bulldoze kind of strategy with yeah. dust cops, then I feel like Porygon 2, at least at this point in what the metagame seems like, I feel like Porygon 2 is super, super good. Yeah, I, I always like dust cops after seeing it earlier this season, but I think starting with Porygon is solid because there's just so much weak to bolt beam. But okay, cool. So we have we have a starting point at the very least. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Um. So I think we can either think about the trick room mode and and work on that, or we can think about the non trick room mode. We are going to have to figure out the Trick Room mode eventually, so, like, we have to think about Amoongus, I think. I think that's the number one thing, so, yeah. What if we have a non-Trick Room mode that just destroys Amoongus? Is there anything you can think of that... So there's things we can does. do. Like, if we see Amoongus in Team Preview and maybe some other slow Pokemon, yeah. we could always just forgo, uh, you know, Porygon 2 so the, and Trick Room. Yeah, there's two ways I think we can make that work. I think either... Oh, you know what we could do, right, actually? What, what we can could, we do? We could do, uh, so for the Dallas Regionals team, Aaron Trailer won that, and um, I worked on the team with him, and he, well, basically the way that it worked is like, you had basically 
um, you would always lead like kind of like fast offensive mode, like Fake Cheers, Whimsicott plus Charizard or Duraludon, and, or Togekiss plus Charizard or Duraludon, and then in the back you would have almost every game Jealous and Conkleder. Um, mm -hmm. But both Jealous and Conkleder were, were like EV'd with some speed EVs, so they could work in like Tailwind as well. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm wondering, like, maybe what if we did like Marowak with some speed EVs, for example, so that like, because basically the issue with a lot of these Pokemon is like. Let's say they have a Moongus, then we're like, all right, we're automatically not going to bring either Pori both, or sorry, not either. It's we're like, if we see a Moongus and we're like, okay, we can't bring Porygon 2 and we can't bring our Trick Room Sweeper, that's kind of bad, right? Um, yeah, we still want to be able to bring it, just we don't want to be relying on Trick Room. Yeah. So I like, yeah, I like the way, uh, you, how you said Aaron built his team and what you're thinking right now. I yeah. definitely am a fan of that. Yeah. How fast is Porygon Z? Porygon Z? Uh, yeah, the support gun Z is really popular right now. It's based 90. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, it's, it's of, a nightmare. Uh, hyper beam max move. Exactly. Uh, so one thing we could do is like some some speed EVs on Marowak, for example, and make it like fast enough to outspeed some things in Tailwind. I guess that's one option. Um, How fast is Marowak? It's Marowak. actually base 45, so it's not that slow. It doesn't have to be Marowak, though. Just, like, something in kind of in that general speed tier. Like, we did this with uh, Conkleder before. But that would also imply that we're using Tailwind, which, like, isn't necessarily a fact, so maybe we shouldn't, like... Maybe we shouldn't be jumping to conclusions. Do people still use uh, Dragapult plus Mimikyu at all? Uh, I haven't seen it. It was big before the patch, but I think probably yeah. not, because, like, Amoongus, you know? Yeah, okay. You also, oh, you know that we're playing with open info, right? Like, everyone's going to be able to see everything. Yeah, I okay. saw that. Yeah. yeah. Just wanted to make sure that, like, because that... I wish they did. Cool. Yeah, they should do that for uh, more you think so? tournaments, I feel like. I think it's a pretty cool uh, attempt at seeing how this goes. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm curious to see how it'll be. Um, oh, well, Marowak is... Actually... It's adamant. Yeah, it's not that slow. It's not that slow, but we're not going to be outspeeding anything fast, actually. Yeah, I was thinking if you give it 108 speed EVs, you get above Porygon Z with like 158 stat, I think it is, when you double it. Yeah, 158 stat if you double it, which is like faster than base 90s, basically. Okay. Um... But then, like, the issue is we have a 79 speed Pokemon in Trick Room, which may or may not be bad, because it feels like a lot of po like, it's, I feel like there's not that much in the middle right now. I feel like it's a lot of, like, really slow Pokemon and a lot of really fast Pokemon. Um, but I, I haven't played that much, so I'm not sure if that's true. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's middling speed stuff like, uh, Indeedy, Incineroar. Yeah, Lapras. The Grass Starter. Yeah, the Grass Starter. I don't know what else. Do people still use Togekiss? Oh, for sure, but that's a little faster. Oh, are people using uh, Urshifu a whole lot? I don't know what the usage on that, I'll be completely honest. I, I don't... I haven't seen very many of them, but I think we can expect... We'll probably have to play at least against a couple if we go far enough, I'm sure. I'm How sure fast is it? It's like 90-something. I want to say I don't actually know. Oh, 97. Yeah. Okay. Slower than Mimikyu. Wait, no. Fa uh, wait, how fast is Mimikyu? No, ah, faster than Mimikyu. Dang. Alright, so Porygon plus Trick Room Sweeper plus support. maybe one, one or two more supportive things that can work in or out of Trick Room, like uh, Incineroar, Moongus, things like that. Yep. Um, And then I guess... To, they don't have to necessarily be both super fast, but things that don't need trigger at all that we can just lead and uh, you know have Porygon two plus X in the back, for example, or one fast Pokemon plus Incineroar lead and then Porygon plus X in the back, yes. something like that. Yep. All right, I like that. What kind of uh, I guess faster strategies are popular is weakness policy dragapult still getting used like a ton i don't know how i don't let me see i'm, I'm looking at peak analytics for like usage stats um yeah it looks it looks like offensive dragapult still up there with weakness policy and life orb um being pretty common as oh, Cin oh yeah cinderace i forgot about that oh yeah i forgot about that too that thing is strong 
Yeah, I've seen that getting used. That thing is crazy. Yeah. Um, so I think so faster things. I'm just gonna look through speed. I think Dragapult is obviously a pretty big contender. Um, then we have um, eh, oh Alakazam is up there. Cind Cinderace. Um, I haven't seen much Inteleon. I don't think it's very good. And then kind of just like we're into the base 110s like Durant. Ah, and then Trakion. Trakion and Kabalion are pretty big as well. Um, okay. By the way, Ray, well, one other thing we could consider is the Torkoal set. Like, Torkoal is a Pokemon because of its natural bulk that can function in and out of Trick Room. Like, yeah, I use that a lot because yeah. I, I was using your Torkoal set in uh, the Player's Cup Wi-Fi thing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, it was totally fine outside of Trick Room. Yeah. So that's something we can consider. Like, it could be, it could be pouring onto Torkoal. Torkoal could actually be... And then have Venusaur... Uh... Yeah. On the team too. Yeah. Porygon two and Torkoal like kind of combines a sweeper and a support role if we do defensive, because I do like that set. Yeah, body press still doing a ton of things weak to it, and yeah. overheat and sun still. Yeah, even without that's going to be great against anything yeah. weak to fire. And it obviously under speeds of moon gust. I don't think it. I don't think it occurs in Moongus somehow. Yeah, unless I'm doing this calc wrong. Oh really? Overheat yeah. and sun. Here, I'll send you the calc. But why does this not KO? Did I do something wrong? It looks like everything's correct to me. It's not Dynamax. Moongus is pretty bulky, but that's I still surprising. I would suggest sun boosted overheat to KO for sure. I guess Torkoal only has 85 V special attack. Yeah, it's super weak. Yeah, you need to be offensive Torkoal. I don't love offensive Torkoal though, it's so hard to position and maneuver. Uh, wait a minute. What Amoongus set are you calculating? I just default set. It was uh, 236 HP, 196 special defense. Calm. With plus, oh, calm. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, yeah, that's not. It's not doing anything. Usually, even eroption. It's not killing. That doesn't, uh, eruption is only 62.5% chance without a boosting item with max special attack, so it's just bulky for some reason. Okay, never mind then on uh, yeah. Torkoal, I guess. What about uh, safety goggles in DD? Just like randomly like on the team without like Alakazam, without you know necessarily anything else, but yeah. just having a follow me option. I don't know what other kind of support moves it can do. I haven't really looked into it, but yeah, uh, I imagine I imagine it's still doing a ton of damage in uh, Trick Room with middling speed and that spam psychic move yeah i don't know I what it's called the new one uh expanding force yeah it's yeah. Uh, the other option is in dd mail which doesn't get follow me but does get imprisoned trick room oh imprisoned trick room yeah like a dd female doesn't get imprisoned or trick room so but I, i'm not sure if we want that yeah but if they can see that we have imprisoned trick room yeah. i guess i don't then it just feels like mind games i guess yeah but you can lock other opposing like expanding force which is interesting that's true. But it's so frail, so it probably doesn't take around. Regardless, I, I agree that we want safety goggles somewhere on the team, 100%. I think that's kind of... Yeah, different. for sure. Um, so let's keep in DD in mind. I like, in my mind, it's probably going to be P2, and then, like... as like the, Obviously, P2 is the first one, and then, like, either... Whimsicott, if we decide to do like beat up stuff and tailwind stuff, or um, Togekiss, or Indeedee, or Amoongus, like as like the second. Like, I feel like there's like one defensive support mon, like more defensively oriented, and then one more offensively oriented support mon. You know. Did your weakness policy with beat up Dragapult plus Cobalion team, how did that go? It was okay. Like, the issue is that. I'm honestly considering the same thing. Yeah. It was okay, like, uh, in a lot of the games, it was kind of awkward to get the beat-up off, because I was running a Salt Vest Cavalion. We can play some games with it if you want, like, and see how it feels, but it, it didn't feel, it felt like, it felt like, I was like, oh, I can turn this into something good, but I, I wasn't sure exactly how to, like, where to go next with it. Okay. I wasn't getting the beat-up off, like, as, a, as an oppressive strategy very much, because everyone just leads Togekiss into it, and then you're like, oh, well, guess, guess that won't work. Like, Togekiss Incineroar, for example, is, like, so hard to deal with, with that. So I would end up, like, positioning uh, yeah. around it, you know? And I, I didn't really have a good... I, I Like, I also was... The thing about 
Whimsicott, Cavalian, Dragapult stuff is like it makes certain things really awkward. Like for example, I had Hatterini as the last mo Porygon two, Hatterini and Incineroar were the last three, um, <laughs> and it made positioning super awkward because like. If I wanted to bring Hatterini, I wanted to Dynamax it, but both Dragapult and Cavalian were like the early game and they wanted to Dynamax too. Um, yeah, that makes sense. And like, it was like the, like you wanted to bring like Porygon 2 and Cinderor, and then like you always wanted to bring Cavalian with Whimsicott or Whimsicott with Dragapult, which meant like bringing, bringing Porygon 2 Hatterini and Cinderor was like not a thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe I should have just not been bringing in Cinderor, but then it, like, it, was, it was just kind of awkward to maneuver. So I felt like there were a lot of good ideas, but I couldn't figure out how to flesh it out. Okay. So yeah, but a lot of the individual mods felt strong. Oh, the other option, by the way, is like Dragapult, Colossal, Cobalion, for example, and have both beat up and surf. Which is like, say, we're, <laughs> playing, we're playing some, we're playing some mind games. Uh, that's maybe that's going too far for me, but I agree. But it's just something to consider. Hmm. What do you think about the um psychic spam duo? Hat plus Indeedy. I haven't tested it, but like I Also, oh wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Is the Dragon Dance Dragapult still? Oh wait, no, that's not gonna work. Never mind. Yeah. I was thinking like what if Dragapult has beat up and Dragon Dance? Yeah. You could lead like uh Dragapult plus Ndidi, potentially, mm -hmm. or lead uh, Dragapult plus Cobalion. And you still have your uh, safety goggles and Ndidi to uh, you know if you need it in Trick Room or mm -hmm. to help get up Trick Room or anything. I, I had a similar idea where I was like, okay, like, if they lead Incineroar and like not Togekiss, then like I can't really do Whimsicott Cobalion stuff, but if I had beat up on Dragapult, I could, but I also like my beat up my bulky weakness policy Dragapult, so I was like, what if I put beat up on my weakness policy Dragapult? But there's doesn't really have the moves for it, I think. Because like you yeah, really want does. fly if because I dropped speed. Like it was slower than Whimsicott, so I really felt like Airstream was important. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. I do think Cavalion's really strong. But yeah, I don't think I don't think that I think like there's a lot of spread moves right now, is my understanding. Also, like with Rillaboom being on a third of all teams, like the Grass Monkey. Um, yeah. It's like I, I don't have as much faith in the Psy Spam duo because like I'm sure that like we're gonna be playing against a ton of Rillaboom and like I feel like that's ever I feel like Psy Spam is on everyone's radar right now, you know. For sure. Honestly, I kind of like Rillaboom, Porygon plus uh, Trick Room. Pokemon. Yeah, I can I can do Rillaboom as well. Like, I can definitely dig that. Battle like it's just forever, though. Oh, true. Like with Grassy Terrain and Porygon too. Like even my Showdown battles were suddenly like ten turns longer. True. I'm gonna be playing in the middle of the night. I don't want my battles lasting that long. Yeah. Like fatigue is a big thing. How many games do we have to play each day? Do you know? I don't know. It's spanning three weeks, I think. Yeah, three weekends. But the first day is going all the way to 64 players left. That feels like, with Wait, double really? elimination, that feels like a lot of That's games. That's a lot of games. I think. I don't know. Not familiar with double elimination. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> but um, it sounds like a lot. It sounds like a lot, I agree. It's cutting the field in by quarter, like a quarter, two a quarter. What do you think about the fire, water, grass core? Like, remember in 2017, there was like the... Finny, Kartana, Arcanine, Arcanine, Arcanine yeah. uh, Feeny, Porygon 2. Like, what yeah. if we did something like Porygon 2, Incineroar, Rillaboom? What's what are the good water Pokemon now? Azumarill, Primarina. Azumarill, Primarina. Uh, yeah. Um, I I think typing doesn't matter as much in 2020 so far. That's been my experience. I've run like really. I've, I ran Triple Ghost to get second at regionals. Like we ran like Double Fairy to get like I've had Double Fairy Pokemon on like all my teams, and like I haven't used mm -hmm. Steel type either, which is like kind of team building basics 101 like always have a steel type and we haven't been using them but um so i'm typically more hesitant to like rely on like old team building things but again i feel like if we start with porygon 2 venusaur or torkoal like i think we could do some big damage with that you know yeah i was just curious because in like season four it seemed like a bunch of the japanese players were using uh that kind of core primarina Primar uh, oh primarina ferrothorn arcanine you're 100 yeah, right. yeah, yeah it was really strong 
So, I'm, I mean, I'm down for it. The synergy is there, especially, but, yeah, I mean. Well, I was just curious. It doesn't even have to be those Pokemon, like, even just Torkoal, Venusaur. I like Torkoal, Venusaur, honestly. Something. I mean, the thing is, Ray, we, like, we could try Torkoal if we wanted, and run Goggles on it, for example. Like, it doesn't have to be I Pop Berry or whatever. I don't know. I use Citrus Berry on it and Jed. Yeah. I thought it was super good. The other option is we can also add Charizard, and, like, if you're bringing Amoongus into Torkoal, Venusaur, like, Charizard, I don't know. Like, it should give us enough opportunities. I'll be honest, I didn't like Charizard that much. I also don't I love it. Charizard, to be honest. Now, back then, like, tons of people were using Tyranitar, Excadrill, it's still other popular, stuff that I just think. destroyed it. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, if it's still popular, then it's probably not that good. I think Venusaur G-Max is really strong. Can we try and, like, build out a team? Yeah, let's do it. I okay. like it. And I really like the bulky Torkoal, too. Yeah, let's, let's start with that stuff, because I think that's some really strong stuff. Just, like, I just had max HP, max defense. Is that cool with you? Oh, yeah. Uh, cool. That's what I used. Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't hurting you messed around. I agree Citrus is generally better than a 50% berry as well. Um, especially in a mod like Torkoal. Protect over yeah, Yawn. If you don't have Flare Blitz to, like... Yeah. Assist in triggering it, then yeah, I like Citrus. So, do you know about the new move, um, Burning Jealousy? Oh, yeah, I do. That's where, uh, like, if they use one of the max moves or beat up and give themselves a boost, mm -hmm. then you're 100% burning them. Yeah, exactly. And it's spread, right? It's spread. It's a spread move that always burns if they've raised stats that turn. And so I've been using yeah, it in that's Zero. Actually. It's that really could be strong. super good on the Torkoal, actually. Yeah, if we're not using damage output anyway, like, we'd need a different Trick Room Sweeper, probably. Yeah. But, like, the, like, so I've been using it in Cineroar, and, like, peop like the thing is, you just, like, in front of Excadrill, like, I even it to survive Max Quake, and, like, it puts them in a really awkward spot, because, like, all their max moves raise their stats. And if they Swords Dance, then it also raises their stats. So, like, they can't, like, like it, it turns Incineroar, like, into, like, a, a uh, an Excadrill counter. For, and, like, yeah, especially if they have Tyranitar next to it, or they have, like, Dragapult next to it. Um, I think it can be kind of strong, so. Yeah. That's yeah, I think that sounds good. actually really good. Um, so, yeah. Like, honestly, I was using Body Press for, for most damage. of the damage. Yeah, like, I, like so, Overheat, I only used a couple of times. It's for, like, Ferrothorn, and, like, if you need, like, yeah, a yeah. burst damage. Very specific but, like, things, yeah. Yeah, I agree. So I think that that could be a strong combination. Porygon to Torkoal Venusaur. Um, yeah, I really like that. Yeah. So that could be a starting point. I think maybe we don't run Sleep Hatter on Venusaur or like, I don't know, like we can come back to it. Like, I just hate, I hate that it's inconsistent, you know? I know. I lost a number of games just because Sleep Powder missed on turn one. Mm -hmm. Um... Okay, so what are we worried about with Porygon to Torkoal Venusaur? How do you feel about Intimidate? Do you feel like it's needed on, in this metagame? Uh, we're probably not going to use Incineroar because we already have Torkoal. I was thinking of that, yeah. What other Intimidators even are there? So, Gyarados. there's Gyarados, which gives us Firewater Grass, but I've never... Honestly, Gyarados has felt pretty bad. Um, yeah. There's a Crocodile. A Crocodile. Um, okay. Scrafty, hit on top. So I feel like Wide Guard is actually probably really good right now but at the same time i'm also like not a huge fan of scrafty with all the fairy yeah well scrafty doesn't even I... get wide guard it's um it's oh yeah true him on top yeah it doesn't just... have the psychic yeah. well i feel like they don't even have single target oh the thing they is do, if, they ha if they had a, if they had a spread move they can always just dynamax and then turn it into a yeah single target move so i've been avoiding wide guard yeah, for that yeah, reason yeah. true yeah, honestly, if we're not using Incineroar, maybe we. I'm not like a huge fan of a lot of the other Intimidators. I'm not sure if Intimidate is worth the mods we'd have to use. <laughs> no. Um. Oh wait, there was a popular team. Hang on. There was a team that I heard was strong. It's um. Let me find it. Okay. It is. Okay. It's um, Dusclops, Torkoal, G-Max, Venusaur. Mm -hmm. And then Togekiss. Yeah, I saw David Kutish tweeting about it. Uh, to Togekiss, Charizard, Venusaur. And then Torkoal, Dusclops, Tyranitar. I'll send you the thread. That's like literally the team I used last. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I guess these are all old mons. Yeah. Oh, that's actually really funny. Here's the. Here's what he says. This is um, Hamster Mania, who's a strong player. And he says... 
There are currently three ladder heroes under an alt laddering of this team. Venusaur's potential sleep pattern or to G-Max sweep you. Disclops usually leads alongside it and has a weakness policy to turn the back to like, self proc. Also, the team has like four other leads lol. Um, and he says it's like a coin flip because like, yeah. He says like you need to counter their, you want to you wanna be G-Max Venusaur with your own Dynamax, but if you Dynamax and they sleep powder you, then you're screwed. Um, yeah. So, I don't necessarily want to just like, I just, like there's a lot about that team that I don't like, but I, I do like kind of like the Torkoal, Torkoal Venusaur Trick Room Mon mode. Yeah, I was a huge fan of, like, it turned out most of my games I just brought, uh, you know, Venusaur, Dusclops, Torkoal, Tyranitar. Like, Charizard, I honestly almost never brought after day one. Like, against some of the weaker players, it was good, but against the better teams, it just felt like it was rarely a good pick. Yeah, I can definitely believe it. And I didn't have a good Togekiss set. I was using the crit one, and I wasn't really a big fan of it. Yeah, I don't like that. I, I found a Togekiss that I really like, but I'm not sure. If, uh, like, I looked online, and apparently, like, almost all Togekiss right now are crit Togekiss. Yeah, I wasn't a fan I when like I it. used it. Yeah, agreed. Um, okay, so where would you like to go next, then, if we have Porygon 2, Torkoal, Venusaur? Um, we have one of our... We have, like, I think Torkoal falls into the... Like, originally, we said we wanted Porygon 2, Trick Room Sweeper, Support 1, Support 2, and then two Fast Mons, and I think... Like, obviously, we don't, we're not married to this formula, but I think that one of the sport mons is Torkoal right now. So we have Porygon 2, Torkoal, and then we still need... And then Venus I think at this point, I think yeah. at this point, like, a Trick Room Sweeper is... 100%. Next highest priority, because that's going to be our four in a lot of games, I'd imagine. Yeah. Like, when I used uh, the team in the last tournament, like, Torkoal, Venusaur, Trick Room Setter, Trick Room Sweeper was... Mm -hmm. Like, I was bringing that a lot. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um... All right, so that's where things get tricky. So, how are we going to figure out what sweep we want? We also have three um, special attackers and no physical attackers right now. Just, like, not super... We can, like, I think four special, two physical would be fine, so it's not like the trick room super has to be physical, but just something to keep in mind. Hey, body press is, uh... That's right, that's right, Torkoal's mixed. <laughs> Torkoal's honestly more of a physical attacker than a special attacker, you're right. Yeah, especially if we're using Burning Jealousy. A hundred percent, yeah, this thing is just, yeah, like, a. It's like an anti-sand Torkoal, right? Because you can you can burn the like yeah. and you can Oko Tyranitar and stuff. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, we're kind of weak to like Psy spam, psychic spam, yeah. <laughs> but then I feel like we're devolving into just the same uh, boring team I was using last time. Like Tyranitar, you mean adding that? Yeah. There's not really many other slow Pokemon that are good against Psychic Spam. Yeah, the issue is that... Uh, I mean, other than we already have uh, Torkoal. Yeah. Although, I guess Torkoal's not really being a uh, fire attacker. Right, that's true. But I don't know if Incineroar, like, adds anything. Also, like, we want, we want a Sweeper for this slot, and, like, I'm not sure that... Yeah, Incineroar is not really doing enough damage. Also, I ended up maxing Tyranitar a decent amount of times. I believe it. It's a really good max. Yeah, I don't know how much damage it really does if it's not maxing. Right. Um, we can consider a Tyranitar. I mean, I'm not super familiar with it right now, I'll be honest. But, like, how are we going to deal with Sorry, I don't know if I really like Tyranitar with Porygon 2 either. I don't like it with Torkoal, I'll tell you that much. Like, Torkoal Venusaur Torkoal. especially. Yeah. Um... In this instance, I think we could actually consider a Scavalier, right? Ooh, true. Right, because it, it actually really destroys Psy Spam, and it beats a Moongus, yeah. and it should beat other Trick Room teams as well, because we'd have, like, Porygon 2 and then two super slow Trick Room users. That's true. And if, if we don't max it, is it gonna do enough? So let's run you think? Max. I'm not sure. Like, so... I wish we could use Conkle during that spot honestly i love conkle dude like I, yeah but it, it doesn't need to max and it does a ton of damage but yeah i mean the scavalier has the stats for it right it has 135 base attack and with assault vest it's super bulky um and like you can always just click knockoff in front of a lot of things right now i think yeah so i think That's it's true you consider um it should oko hatterini with iron head i think he, like even without iron head about our own um, about our own hatterini I thought about it, like, I had it on an earlier version of this team, um, 
I can honestly dig it. Like, I didn't test extensively. Um, however, what I like, the theory behind what I was doing is I actually didn't even have Trick Room on Hatterini. Like, I, I played it just like a Trick Room, or the intention was to play it just like a Trick Room Sweeper. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically you make it reliant on Porygon 2, but, um, and getting Trick Room up, but yeah, then it's like pretty strong. Um, however, I don't feel like it out of Dynamax is the only thing. So if we do that, we're going to be kind of forced to Dynamax it, which means if we're doing like Torkoal Venusaur, I mean, we can try it honestly, like it could work. Yeah, I feel like outside of Dynamax, it's only really doing enough damage if it's using that Psychic Spread move. Yeah, we, that would mean we'd also need like... Which we don't have uh, yeah, access right to. I, mean, we, I, like the, I think the, the fifth slot in this team is probably going to be a redirector, because, like, Venusaur plus redirection sounds strong. Mm -hmm. Like, Token gets or Ndidi, realistically, but... Um, That's true. Yeah, I like Hatterini. I like... Maybe we can just keep a list. Like, I like Hatterini. I like uh, Scavalier. Okay. Um, I mean, I like Conk. I don't think it really fits here just yet, but, like... I like Primarina too, but with like Twerkle, the then that's kind of ruining our spread. Yeah, water it's like, type I don't like damage. when teams, like, work against each other, you know? Like, I, like yep. I want my team to be kind of cohesive. And of course, like, I guess in theory, like, setting the sun up, we make this Cavalier weaker to fire, but, like, it's not letting me fire attacks anyway. Yeah, we could. Oh, no, actually. No, We're going to kind of weak to Incineroar if we do um, this Cavalier. Like, because we don't... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah, Incineroar would be a real big problem. Hmm. I'm not, I'm not like, super close to Hatterini. Like, I, I think it might be one of the best things we've thought of so far. But it just... I don't know. I feel like we can do something better. I wish Copperaja was good, dude. I really like Copperaja in theory, but it's just, it's just not the play. Uh, I don't even know that thing's stats. Their Honestly. stats are alright, but it's just, I'll save us both the time and tell you it's not going to work. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, filling out the Venusaur Torkoal core, it feels like for the Trick Room Sweeper slot, mm -hmm. like we really want to be Dynamaxing that Pokemon. Yeah. But like I, unless, I, yeah. unless we're using that Psychic Spam move or some other spread move, like if yeah. we had Primarina or something, but yeah, none of those are gonna fit with the team we have and Conkledur kind of adds well I mean Conkledur is good against Incineroar which we're weak to I mean it doesn't help with the psychic right. spam at all but we have like other Pokemon as well like we could easily throw Togek as extra girl on here and start with and like add and then Trick Room Sweeper you know yeah that's also true though I'm not actually sure how good that would make our matchup but it's yeah not really the point um I actually think we could, like, as slot number, like, if slot number four is Trick Room Sweeper and slot number five is support, I think Excadrill could make some sense in slot six, because mm -hmm. giving Porygon two defense boost and special defense boost sounds, like, really scary. Yeah, then you're never killing Porygon, well, yeah. especially if it has Recover. Yeah. Which I assume yeah, you would use. Yeah, Recover. <laughs> Stupid Amoongus makes this so much harder, because it like really limits a lot of the Pokemon I would want to use. And Hattori is annoying, because the only type that's immune to uh, Psychic is Dark, and then it's Fairy as well. That's why I keep coming back to a Steel type. Yeah, as Cavalier would be amazing against those teams. But I th think we end up 2v2 Amoongus, realistically. Or, uh, sorry, we 2v2 Incineroar. I mean... In that scenario, though, I guess we don't have to bring Venusaur or Torkoal for that matter. Torkoal could depend on the rest of their team, but like, yeah, we could bring those two other Pokemon and then just have Porygon 2 and Escavalier against any kind of Psychic Spam team. That's true. 
Yeah, if we're going to a Scavalier, I mean those other two Pokemon are good against uh, Incineroar, which are going to have to be because all four of our Pokemon so far would be yeah. weak to Incineroar. Right. Yeah, I like the fact that Escavalier is good against the Grass Starter and it's good against Psychic Spam, which seem like some of the most popular. It's good against Amoongus, too. Mm -hmm. Some of the most popular Pokemon in the format right now. Yeah. Yeah, let's throw Scavalier on, and then if it feels bad, we can drop it. There's a part of me that really wants to suggest Marowak over Scavalier. So like you lead mm -hmm. Torkoal Venusaur and then in the back you just have P2 Marowak and you max the Marowak and just like destroy everybody with max player. <laughs> but I think it probably is too weak to like sand and stuff. Yeah, it probably is. Yeah. I mean, if they didn't have a way to change the weather. <laughs> <laughs> Even then, I don't know. Gonna... Um, and they couldn't intimidate us, yeah. And if they didn't have a Moongus to sleep us. Yeah, that all yeah, with perfect conditions. <laughs> I'm still also interested in Porygon 2 Torkoal Venusaur Sweeper um Um Togemu's Excadrill. Like I think that could also be strong. Which kind of uh, are people still using uh Rotom at all? Like I've which Excadrill? Used, I've really, I've never been using Rotom. I'll be honest with you. Okay, then just we would have uh, the sand, the speed boosting uh, ability for whenever we. I would just any run Mold Breaker just to be safe. Like, oh, I think it's a better Mold Because that way, like, you don't have to run, uh, you don't have to run Rock Move, and you can run Torch Dance if you want it. But the issue, um, yeah, I mean, actually, if, like, okay, so I think a, a duo, it doesn't have to be Token Gets Excadrill, but I think a, uh, a duo up front is kind of nice, because it opens us up for, like, Token Gets Excadrill, Torkoal Venusaur in back, or, like, I'm just using Token Gets Excadrill as an example, or, like, Token Gets Excadrill, P2 Sweeper in the back as well. Mm -hmm. I'm not crazy about Scavalier. What beats Porygon 2, Torkoal, Venusaur, Hatterini, Excadrill, Togekiss? What are we to if we do that? Uh, Opposing Venusaur. Oh, we have to think about Opposing Sun as well. Like Charizard, Charizard just like instant wins. Oh, oh how, yeah. How are we going to beat Charizard? Wait a second. <laughs> oh, we wouldn't beat Charizard at all. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, we, we need to be pretty mindful of Charizard, I think. The more and more we look at this, the more and more it looks like Titar is looking tempting, to say the least. Yeah. I mean, I I thought the Venusaur Torkoal Dust Cops Tyranitar part of the team I used was super good, but I just I don't really want to use the same stuff again. That's too boring. Yeah, no, I agree. But we okay, we need to be mindful of uh We could also do like Terrakion oh, or and then just on the last two slots. Was that we could still use those four and then just improve on the last two slots. Yeah. It doesn't have to be Tyranitar. Like, there are other things as well. Like, Terrakion is a good mod. Um, Kabalion. Kabalion plus Beat Up could be good. Hmm.
Actually... Because Tailwind would help Venusaur too if we did not bring Dorkle. That's but, true. But I don't like Whimsicott Venusaur. I don't like Whimsicott and Venusaur. Yeah. And I, you know my thoughts on Talonflame. So. I, oh yeah, I hate Talonflame. <laughs> and I don't know what else even gets Tailwind. Driftblim. Um, Noivern, Corviknight, yeah. Yeah, we we probably can't use Talon here. I yeah, think. No, Talon. We could use... Oh no, never mind. It's probably not good. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say, uh, what if we used Cinderace? I don't mind it. I mean, I think it's a decent Pokemon, but I'm not sure we have the support for it right now. Although Cinderace well, we got and pledge Sun... support. What, what's that? We got pledge support. I think you're losing me because the pledges we get are, first of all, Fire Pledge is special, so like, <laughs> and it gives us the Burning Field, which isn't that good. Wait, would it? Would it be based off Cinderace or off Venusaur? It depends if Sun's up or not. If Sun is not up, then Assuming Venusaur. Sun is not up. Oh, then Venusaur. Because Cinderace is super fast. Yeah. So Cinderace. So Venusaur's Grass Pledge would end up going really fast. Is that how it would work? Yeah, but it would be it would be really fast, but it would only be 150, 160 base power, I think. Oh really? What yeah. is the field? I forget. Is the field the speed lowering one or no? Mm, the the speed lowering one is the swamp. The field is like passive damage. Uh -oh. Like, oh, and that passive damage is super low. Never mind. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's worth it for committing two attacks to it. Like Never the swamp mind. is really good, but like I don't think I the other the speed one. The speed one. Never is mind. Good. Yeah, no, you're right. Um, also, like I feel like people run frenzy plant Venusaur if you plan on maxing it a lot, um, and like it's gonna do similar damage. But only yep. one attack. Um, I had an idea. What was it? What if we... What is Venusaur, Torkoal, Hat, and Didi weak to? Um, opposing Replace... size... What's that? I was going to say opposing size spam can be trained challenging. Okay. I, I mean, Marcus won a tournament with that. Uh, the Beast Coast Invitation, they brought that to the finals. Tyranitar x looks really difficult, not going to lie. It's not, I mean, it's not awful, actually, but like, yeah. Like, you can set, like, if, if you add Porygon into that, you have a reliable setter. But it just feels kind of like, I don't know, gimmicky, in a way, if that makes sense. Like, it's not actually, like, gimmicky is not the right word, but it's like, feels too, like, I don't know. Like, it feels weak to good players, you know? Yeah, no, I know. But we can try it out, like. Cause that well, that was a team. It was um, Dusclops, Hatterini, Rhyperior, and DD Torkoal Venusaur. Yeah, I remember that version of the team. I mean, it did well for that sure. Was super hard trip though, which I don't like. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, you would play in prison of DD Mail, and we're gonna have it into trouble. I wish we could fit like Dragapult, like with beat up on this somehow. Dragapult plus. Terrakion or Cabalion? We could use Terrakion instead, and then we can beat Incineroar. Yeah. Well, I guess Cobalion beats it too, but... Yeah. Dragapult, Cabalion. The thing is, like, they just don't mesh well. Like, neither of those Pokemon mesh well with the rest of the team, is the issue. Yeah. Hmm. Do you feel like the... Having Torkoal is making it harder to team build. We can take a step back for sure. Like, I don't think we need Torkoal. Like, Torkoal does kind of pigeonhole us, I guess. Yeah. Like, 
And we're now excluding other fire types. Yeah. It already doesn't really do much damage. We got to exclude like Tyranitar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can. But at the same back. time, we need, if we're gonna use Venusaur, I feel like could we use Venusaur without? One hundred percent, we could. Oracle? Oh yeah. Like, what if we used? Wait, what if we went back to? Oh wait, never mind. What? Never mind. I was I was uh, gonna say something stupid. Were you gonna say Cinderachi? I was gonna say if you use a uh, max move to set up Sun, but then you can't max Venusaur, so oh, never mind. I was about to say that we could do that too. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Venusaur is still good out of Dynamax or Gigantamax, but um, dang, I was also gonna say that we use Max Flying to uh to get the speed of, like on Venusaur, but then yeah, it's the same thing, but then we can't max yeah Venusaur. Hmm. I know. I'm also such a huge fan of uh, the grass starter too. Yeah, Rillaboom. I feel like it's okay, but we obviously can't use it. Well, we don't have to Venus. use Venusaur. I just thought Venusaur Torkoal was like one direction we could go in, but we can go other directions. Because all we're really sold on is like P2. <laughs> yeah. We can figure out the fast mode first and then add in P2 around that. That might be easier. All right, let's try that. Um, right, fast mode. Let's see. So there's Cinderace, there's Dragapult. There's beat up stuff. That's kind of it, I feel like. Cinderace, Dragapult, or beat up? Well, I imagine beat up is going to include Dragapult, but okay, yeah, I guess I it's like what's yeah. But yeah, okay, so those are the three, let's save those three Pokemon then. Okay. Cinderace, Dragapult, Whimsicott, like we're definitely using one. Okay, that makes it easier, that's a lot easier. Okay, cool. Um, which of those pair is best with Porygon 2? My gut says Cinderace? Though I guess yeah. it's not really about Porygon 2 at that point, like, because you're just trying to open up the early game. Like Porygon 2 would be fine with... Dragapult or Cinderace. Yeah, yeah, so, okay, sure. Okay, so then let's say not Whimsicott. I mean, it could still be good with Whimsicott, but... That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like, I don't know, I like those other two more than Whimsicott. Okay, so we're going to say Porygon 2. Whimsicott, I guess, if we're using Beat Up. Right. Um, people have paired Cinderace with, like, Competitive and Defiant Mons as well. That's something to consider. Yep. What stops Cinderace plus Helping Hand Milotic? Have people tried that? I feel like nothing stops Cinderace with a helping hand. <laughs> that sounds really strong. Well, because you can't intimidate you can't it at that point. Because you have my Yeah. The water coverage is... I mean, Cinderace has the coverage it needs, right? Like, you're not like... <laughs> and the one thing yeah. that's faster than it naturally, like Dragapult, it doesn't like to, uh... Like, it can't use its max moves in front of my Yeah, because then it's going to power up my Yeah. So that's Let me check out. Like, yeah, I'm liking the sound of that. It sounds pretty good. And Life Orb I know you've had a bunch of uh, success with my Lodic. I like nationals and stuff. What's, oh, sorry, one more time. I missed what you said. I know you've had success before with my Lodic. Yeah. I like nationals. I like my Lodic. Like I go. People are running the stupid coil hypnosis set, or have been for a lot of the season. I think that's bad, personally. Yeah. Um. But it's just my opinion. Yeah, you get, if you're going to use Hypnosis, just do it blind. <laughs> uh. That also, hey, Ray, Cinderace, my little uh, grass monkey, gives us that grass fire with a grass corner. Yeah, that. that's true. People are running High Dream Kick on Cinderace. Does that surprise you? If it's next to a physical Pokemon, then it makes sense. And it's good against Incineroar. I guess you drop Sucker Punch. Assuming you're using the max one. But I like Sucker Punch, yeah. You can use Fire, Steel, You definitely dark, need Bounce. Fighting. I think bounce, bounce is needed. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. I forgot. Yeah, you definitely need Bounce. You so, could... Fire, Flying. Imagine you had G Max Cinderace, yeah. but then you didn't run fire. Like, you could, in theory, could drop fire. You could. 
Yeah, I mean, you're really, you only need fire, I guess, for the neutral. Well, everything is neutral. That's you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, if you're against, like, a grass type, you don't need fire, because you can just use the bounce one. Yeah, and if you're against a steel type, you're going to use the fighting one. So you could, in theory. Because it's all stab it. anyway. It's not like it's not like you need it for stab. Yeah, exactly. And Sun is just going to be weakening our own Milotic. <laughs> well, I think you're in G-Max, because it turns the move into 160 base power, which is actually kind of convincing. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, maybe we should consider it. Wait, what is it? Oh yeah, it gets a new. Oh yeah, what does the new G Max move do? It just um, it just uh, ignores abilities, so you can like hit through mimic you and flash fire them on if there were any. But is it the same power as? Uh... No, it's it's always 160. So like. Oh, so it's stronger than. Ah, uh, okay, I got it. What's Pyroball's max power? Uh, power it also. Pyroball's 140. A 140, okay, so it's a 20 base power increase. Which is actually kind of significant, especially with Helping Hand. Like, I bet Helping Hand, my, uh, I bet Helping Hand, um, Scarious does a lot of damage. Well, I mean, I assume you would be using the base 160 power one, the signature G Max move. Uh, all fire moves turn into that move, actually. So you, so then it would have a forty point increase, because this one's one sixty. Wait, one forty versus where? Where's the extra twenty coming from? Because of stab? I mean, it's the. I mean, like uh, before the DLC, its uh, max move power would have been one forty. Right. So and now max it's one sixty. Now it's one sixty. So where's the? Where's you said forty point increase? Where's isn't it only? Oh, I, that's because I before when you asked, I said one forty. But I was just looking at uh, Max Flare. Right. But he Max Fireball is 160. Right, 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 right. So it's a, it's a and now it's so it's really 40 point increase. Total. Wait, where, sorry, where, why is it 40 instead of 20? It was it was 140 and now it's 160. Where's the extra 20 coming from? Oh, I just meant because Pyro Ball is only 120. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, yeah. I was so confused. <laughs> yeah, it might be. Oh, you're good. You're good. Oh my God. I feel like nothing stops Cinderace with a helping hand. Yeah, we can try it. Like, literally. Also... Yeah. Would we still use Life Orb on it? I think so. I like, I think, like, you could do some crazy I haven't done the calc, but yeah, I, I mean, then you're for sure one-shotting everything. Yeah. I was just calcing, um, just, like, Sucker Punch with Life Orb and no helping hand, one-shot to Dragapult uh, with Life Orb. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, not so non max regular sucker punch with life orb helping hand one shots dragapult once well without helping hand and, and without without dynamax on dragapult at one shots but with helping hand and if dragapult dynamaxes you're doing 83 to 98 percent so like if you oh, chipped gee. it a little bit like if it was like late game and you brought your cinderachi and then you just helping hand sucker punch like who could and they yeah. had dragapult if you if you damaged it before like after a turn of life orb it's uh it's, um, wait, 164 minus 16, 312. You have a, tw you have one, if, if it takes a turn of life orb damage and there's no bulk in it, then you have, like, a 1 in 4 chance to KO with helping hand sucker punch, which is kind of crazy. Um, I bet, like, I bet you, helping hand is probably really nice as well, because, like, hang on, I'm sure it's in calcs. Oh my god, dude. Like, you Helping Hand, Life Orb, uh, Helping Hand, Life Orb, Steel Spike has, like, a very good chance to Oko, like, moderate, bulky Dynamax Togekiss or Togekiss through the berry. Oh, jeez. So I think that could be a good potential starting point. I like the sound of it. Myotic still gets Icy Wind, right? Yep, so I was thinking Helping Hand, Recover, Icy Wind, and then, like, Scald Water. or Muddy Water, whichever you prefer. I like Scald, personally. Yeah. People nowadays are in Muddy Water, but... Well, that's because they're all using uh, coil, I guess. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I'd like Muddy Water too. Yeah. No, I think that sounds good. Icy Wind will help if we use uh, the Grass Starter too. That's true. Okay, cool. So now we have three Pokemon. Pouring on two still helps uh, the Grass Starter because it's just like 
you know, so-so speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how far? It's basically 85, right? Yeah. We could also do G-Max Venusaur here. Because, like... Oh, it's... Oh, yeah. We can... We have Icy Wind, which can provide speed control. We use Venusaur instead of the Grass Starter. Yeah, and we have... But I imagine we're probably going to want to max Cinderace. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Most of the time. I was thinking, like, you'd also do max Airstream, Cinderace, and then Sleep Header stuff, but, like... Yeah. Well, <laughs> then we might as well just be using our Milotic to Hypnosis people. <laughs> Which we could actually do. I mean, we yeah, like we could like we might not need icy wind is the thing. Like maybe hypnosis is actually better in that slot. No, I was just kidding. But <laughs> I, mean, I, I honestly, I hope it's not actually an optimal move. I don't really want to be using hypnosis. But... I hate hypnosis. We're gonna lose because we, <laughs> we miss hypnosis, and that feels stupid. Okay, so we have strong leads, and we have strong support for the lead, and now we have Porygon two for the back. Do we want redirection? Like, I think Togekiss could make some sense, and then, like, we need two strong sweepers. Or, like, two hmm. strong ones. What else can we pair with Cinderachi that makes it works? Picolytics. I forgot this will tell me some of the partners. People are pairing it with Togekiss, Whimsicott, Rillaboom. Oh, what do you think about Dracovish? <laughs> oh, I know. That's your, that's your favorite, right? I like him a lot, yeah. <laughs> I haven't tried him, but he I looks pretty strong. He is pretty strong. You can do some stuff with... It, I don't think it pairs very well with my Lodic though, although they don't actually share weaknesses apart from Lapras. What well, would we use a uh, scarf on it? Y scarf or, or would we want to go for damage and try and give yeah. it a flying? Boost? I honestly don't believe that it fits here. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. All right. Oh, Ray. You wanna see a cow? Uh oh. Yeah, show me. This is Dynamax Lapras. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not maxed. That's not maxed. Oh, it doesn't KO if we max. Dang it. Uh, ah, dang it. Darn. Darn. Okay, well, at least that's some reason not to run Hydro Kick. Yeah. Helping Hand, Max Hydro Kick, Oko's, um, Oregon 2. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, uh, it depends on the spread, but versus, like, the one that I'm using right now. Like, if it's more specially bulky than physically bulky. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Do you think, maybe we don't need Sucker Punch, honestly. So if we go Fighting Fire, Steel, Flying. Then we would lose Sucker Punch. People are running Sucker Punch. The move that people are dropping is... Yeah, according to Picolytics. Yeah, uh, let me check it out. It's uh looks like Iron Head is actually the move that's dropped the most. Really? Yeah. I, Iron is the fifth move. I kind of like Iron Head too. I yeah, I like Iron Head a lot. Like the max move. Yeah, 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 hundred yeah, percent. And the typing is nice, like turning yourself into a steel type is super nice. Yeah, that's also good. Oh, Pyro Ball is actually only lower fourth. Than, mm -hmm. It's yeah. lower than Sucker Punch. Yeah. I'm not convinced we need Pyro Ball. Like, I know the power increase is nice, but, like, all the calcs we've been running, like, what are we hitting with Pyro yeah. Ball? Like, yeah, what are we really using it against? Only... We hit... scroll down the list. Rillaboom, we don't need it. Uh -huh. Oh, oh Togekiss will have Iron Head, and Cinderella will have High Jump Kick. Amungus Opposing will... Cinderachi will use, I don't know. What do you mean? That's just the coin flip. That's type they are, yeah. <laughs> we'll we got two. We got high jump kick, Amoongus bounce, Dragapult, Sucker Punch, Indeed, you Whimsicott, turn to steel type. Iron Head. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what. It's really just extra power, I guess. Or if we're not maxing Cinderachi, then Pyro Ball it's a consistent is our most move. reliable. But Iron Head is pretty nice as well, and Sucker Punch as well. Iron Head, too, yeah. By the way, Helping Hand, Max Darkness, Oko's Max Max Dusclops. Oh, Max Darkness would actually be good with Milotic, too. Oh, true. Yeah, we can actually, like, kind of, yeah. Yeah, I think let's consider dropping Pyro Wall, I think, for now. Yeah. Because I don't know what we need it for. And, like, we still were in G-Max, but just because it's funny. Although, actually, if they can see our team, they know that we don't have Fireball, so whatever. 
Yeah, that's also true. Okay. I like the Cinderachi Milotic stuff. It looks strong to me. Yeah, me too. I'm feeling it. Yeah. Um. Okay, Porygon 2 Milotic Cinderachi. Grass type? Hey, you know I love the drummer. What, what are you? What are people? You want to run assault vest? Yeah, I would. If I was using, I'd probably use assault vest. Let me see what other people are using though. It's like that or miracle seed. Okay, okay I'm not. Yeah, it's, it's, it's I a miracle. Don't use somebody let you play seed. Pokemon with that idea. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Does knock off? Yeah, I like assault vest. Knock off is also super good move. So too. people are running wood hammer. Do you think we need it, or do you, would you rather on like U turn? Because grass, uh, it's grass glide fake out, um, knock off, and then one more. I kind of like wood hammer. Sure. Yeah, since I imagine we're, we might need to use it for like damage under trick room, right. like even more damage under trick room, which wood hammer can help with. But U turns also eh, good. I think, but, I think let's use let's use uh, just hammer. Yeah, I think I prefer wood hammer. Oh, by the way, Ray, there was something that I was experimenting with a while ago, but I never, like, I stopped using my Lodic, so I never got to put it into practice. But we can consider using Life Dew over uh, Recover. Like, you give up some healing on my Lodic, but you get to heal the partner as well. It's 25 for 25. What is the rate on it? Oh, 25 and 25? Mm -hmm. Hmm. It was good with, like, Dragapult, because we could use, like, Protect and then Phantom Force, and in two turns you could heal 50%. Um, oh, that's true, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. If, so if you it. max your ally... Yeah. What what percent of their HP is getting healed by life do? Twelve. Would it then be like it's the basic oh, only twelve point five? It's like the numeric number. So, yeah, it's uh, like yeah, you still get the same amount of health back, but it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Smaller. Okay. It doesn't double the healing. Okay. If it would have doubled the healing, then I would have said yeet for sure. But yeah. Uh. Yeah, and Cinderachi is also kind of frail. I don't know if. And it doesn't have protect you, right? Yeah. Life do is really gonna help it too much. Yeah. Oh, the life do goes through protect. Yeah, that's the thing. Oh. But okay. right now, our other three Pokemon have no protect, so. Yeah. Uh. Alright, I like recover more then. Yeah. For this team. Yeah, agreed. Um, I'm a little concerned that nothing has protect right now, but we can always we don't need icy one on my load. True. Although I, I like it actually for opposing Sudarachi. So we have a firewater grass core. Um, if we just interact, you might let it boom. Mm hmm. If we add Porygon 2, like, Riddle Boom can help. Like, we can maneuver into a situation where we can fake out and get Trick Room up. Yeah. Uh, if we had, like, you know, I guess a support Pokemon and then a good Trick Room Sweeper, maybe, or. Yeah, I kind of. I don't like... know. Because like, Milotic and Riddle Boom are both kind of middling. Yeah. Speed, so it feels kind of. I mean, we could also not use Porygon too if we didn't if we didn't want, you know. Like we're not married to it if we like the support core. Though I do, I personally like Porygon too. Yeah. It just feels kind of awkward to complete this, you know. Yeah. And I'm really liking Cinderachi. My Lodic. My Lodic. Yeah. For sure. And Rilla Boom, I feel like he's OP. So. Okay. <laughs> I trust your instincts. So. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. I mean, everybody's got the Psychic Spam, its ability is countering that, mm -hmm. and giving it stab, and its stats are super good. Mm -hmm. The new priority grass move. So good. Like, that's what, 70 base power? And priority and boosted by grassy terrain? Yeah, yeah I agree. Not, I feel like that's OP. Okay, yeah, I, I can dig it for sure. And it, it can work as, like, it, Woodhammer should hit hard as well. Yeah. Hey, weren't you the biggest Tapu Bulu fan? I, I was, a... that's right. I, I do like Rillaboom, I do, I just haven't used it. <laughs> um... So what are we weak to? We're still kind of... We're a little weak to Sun, though not as much as we have been in the past. Mm-hmm. We could add... Yeah, Venusaur can outspeed... Yeah, Venusaur can oh, outspeed... Venusaur looks like a problem. Hold up. <laughs> and can, uh... Yeah, do a lot to everything. We could do, like, Togekiss to Renatar. I think I want some kind of redirection here, because I like redirection plus Cinderachi as well. True, we could. Yeah, that sounds really good. What kind of Tyranitar set... Would you run? I think weakness policy is probably good. 
I don't know, yeah, like... but... We'd have no steel type, but I guess that's just a, a, a feature of my Hey, we do! Cinderachi. Oh, that's true, you're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I definitely think we want redirection. The other option is we could do Ndidi Hatterini, and just say, alright, like, either we're going... Like, because that gives us Ndidi Cinderachi, and then it gives us Porygon 2 Hatterini true. in the back. That is true. And that would be good against Venusaur. According hmm. to, uh, I was looking at Picolytics and like almost no Venusaur running Sash right now as well. So that's why I wanted a redirector, just because like with redirection we can ensure that Cinderachi can like bounce first, you know, without getting. Yeah. Straight. I feel like I feel like that could work. Yeah, I mean, it, the I'm not sure what the last slot should be, but I think the fifth slot has to be a redirector for sure. Either Token or in DD. Yeah. I, if we use Tyranitar, then I, I really like Togekiss. I agree, and I don't like a DD plus Rillaboom because they get in the way of each other. Yeah, that too. Okay, you want to try those six? Yeah. Okay. I like it. I'll pull out the old Togekiss that I've been using. Do we want to use uh, Porygon 2 or Dusclops if we have weakness policy Tyranitar? Maybe Dusclops, right? I would think so, but... Yeah. Yeah, it probably should be Dusclops. Sorry, Porygon 2. Oh, poor Porygon 2. Oh, gone but not forgotten. I mean, this looks kind of nice. We got, you know, Redirection, Helping Hand... Oh, Lash Out Tyranitar is super strong. Holy cow. You know about that move? It's the Dark Lash one. Shout? Lash Out? I don't know it. Okay, if any of your stats were lowered during this turn, the move, the 75 base power move doubles to 150. So if they wait, intimidate wait, you, wait. you power up. <laughs> it's wait, insane. what? And I don't know if... We have to figure out if Boulders will proc it, but it's kind of crazy. Uh, there's n If Bulldoze procs it, there's just... There's no way in that. Wait a minute. <laughs> then we don't even have to max Tyranitar. Yeah. Let me Google this. <laughs> Bulldoze, <laughs> Lash Out. This dude on Reddit, Latios Rider, says it works. You can Bulldoze and then Lash Out? Yeah. Oh, oh here's, a, here's a video on YouTube by oh. Fufu2, eight hours ago. Oh. Let me... Um, by the way, what do you think about Taunt as the last move on Dusclops so we can Taunt Amoongus? Hey, I like it. Cool. Alright, then we have a team. What's our Dusclops move said then? Bulldoze, Taunt, Trick Room... Uh, Nightshade, I think. Okay. Do you worry about not having Pain Split, or you think it's... Uh... Um, I think we'd just be using it in a different way. Like, it wouldn't be an endgame mod, it would be like a... I mean, we can do Pain Split as well. Like, I'm not that worried about Amoongus, but I, I am a little bit worried about Amoongus. As always. Yeah... That's understandable, though. Like, Tyranitar I, yeah. doesn't want to... Well, we don't want to get slapped. scored, you know? Yeah. And with this, we now have three... Like, it's probably Lumberry or Safety Goggles Togekiss, and then... I'm going to do Safety Goggles now. I think Taunt is... Yeah, I think... I actually didn't have Pain Split on my Dusclops either. Yeah. It like, there were definitely times where I felt like I wished I did have it, but... Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't need it. Yeah. I, like, I think that you just play... I think good. I think you play Taunt Dusclops differently than you play Pain Split Dusclops. Like, I, th I think they're almost yeah. different Pokemon in that, like, Taunt Dusclops, you're like, okay, this is not... This is the this is the back strategy. Um, like, or... Yeah, like, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna use this thing, like, once, get Trick Room Up, and then, like, that's probably all I get. Like, I'm probably not getting Trick Room Up twice, you know? Yep. No, I like that. I like Taunt. Um... Honestly, I think it's better than Ally Switch, which I used in... I hate Ally Switch. I hate Ally Switch. It. <laughs> it's like it's just like I don't know. I don't like it. I like having more control over yeah. the outcome, which I think taunt gives me. You can also taunt the opposing allies, which Dusk Clubs say. <laughs> I like taunt on a trick room. I like taunt Dusk Clubs. Like if like if it had more moves, I would want I would run it like all the time because like the ability to stop people from protecting, I think is pretty strong. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure how much our team benefits from Icy Wind, but also like we can fix the spreads. Like right now, I'm doing no speed investment on a little bit of my load again. That's probably a mistake. But here's kind of what I was building as we talked. 
Obviously, we run pressure dust cops because that's optimal. Mm hmm. Yeah, there's no reason to use a uh, frisk when yeah. you can see what they have. Yeah. But for All right, sure. apparently this strategy works, so. Okay, that sounds very strong. Bulldoze into Lash Out and just KO them every turn. Like, there's no way things take that well. Yeah, we don't even need the max Tyranitar in this. We that really situation. don't. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think if you bulldoze and then plus two lash out, like there's there's no way things live that. So if you do like Sidorachi no. Milotic and then Titar Dusclops in the back, that sounds really Yeah. Strong. Um You can also How do fast do we want to make our Tyranitar? I'm not sure. I have zero speed right now, but like I the speed okay. stats I think are the weakest points to this team. Like I just did like no speed, no speed. Like okay. I would yeah. Let's try that then. And Let's see just do good testing. Um, wait. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know why password isn't figured out. So I'm gonna watch. I think it's this. Nope. I think it's this. Okay. Here's the. I'm gonna tell you the password in chat so you can watch. Then we'll play a couple games. Then I gotta go to bed because it's almost two in the morning. Oh yeah, yeah, true. I don't want to keep you up. Like we can continue it. Like I don't know what time you wake up. Yeah. Like I can stay up later tonight, and uh, you know we can. Do some matches then if you want to record some matches. Cool, yeah. Um, well, we, let's play a couple. Uh, games you don't have to stay up right it. now. If you're no, tired. I'm not like I'm not super tired, but I feel myself getting there. I feel like, yeah. Um, but yeah, sorry. Can I tell them where you are, Ray? Like where? Hey, you can, of course. Okay, cool. It's like, yeah. I'm to ask. Um. Oh, sorry. Let me know when you're logged in. Oh, I didn't tell you the name. Sorry. Username is this. Pump down. Okay. And then password is the thing above that. Password is here. Um. Maybe uh, Ray's in Japan right now, so that made this project to work together um, <laughs> difficult only because of time zones. So it's 2 in the morning almost for me, and what time is it for you? Like 10 a.m.? Right now it's 3 p.m. Okay, okay, 3 p.m. I thought it was earlier. Let me know when you're in and I'll find it. I have no there. idea how to even watch. Uh, are you logged in? Does it say Pompel on the top right? No, I'm not logged in. Okay, once you log in, I'll find a battle and it will show up for both of us. Oh, okay. It's pretty easy. Okay, I'm in. Cool. Let's we'll see what happens. I'm like in the mid 1600s, I think, or like low 1500s, 1600s. Yeah, 1592, which should be like good for testing here. Okay, cool. Oh, I don't know what Comfy does. It's a, it has Trick Room and also it. Um... Does it get Tailwind? No, but it gets Trick Room and Priority Healing. Oh, okay. So we have to be prepared. This is probably some kind of a. This is a kind of trick or, or a talent team, I think. Um, mm -hmm. So, Whimsicott Lapras is an option. Um, yeah, Dragovich is very scary with this kind of team. Yeah, um, for sure. So, I feel like. Yeah, go ahead. I feel like uh, if we get Trick Room up, there's nothing. Agreed. That can stop us. Yeah. So, like, Duck Pups plus Tyranitar in the back. Mm -hmm. Unless uh, you wanted to straight up lead. Mm -hmm. No, I had the same uh, thought. My uh, thought was actually Cinderace plus Rillaboom lead. Potentially, because okay. they don't have Intimidate, yep. and that gives us like a lot of options we can do. Yep, I think that's perfect. And we already know that Helping Hand, Max Knuckle has a pretty good chance to KO Lapras. Yep, yep, I like that. Yeah, and versus Togekiss, gives me Max Steel Spike. Like, the thing I'm most scared of is Dracovish, and like, that whole shebang, but, um, yeah. Like, the, yeah, the we... Fake Up Pressure plus Airstream should be strong. Yeah, I agree. Fake Up Pressure... Potential to get Trick Room up. Rillaboom pretty much walls it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I assume it does. I don't know. I mean, we can get it. It will oh, still do a lot of damage, but we at least have priority. Okay, that's kind of the worst case scenario. It'll outspeed us. Oh, we can fake it out. Um, so, what would you do here? I would just fake out uh, Dracovish and. Uh, Maybe just go for a uh, max Iron Head and get the defense boost, or is the speed? Actually, I would get the speed. Mm. Does Togekiss usually max? I think it currently mm -hmm. does. That's my understanding. So, oh. minus well then maybe is, not. Yeah. So maybe fake out. I, I think Airstream might KO Dracovish though. That's my gut instinct. You think so? It's like a stab flying. I'll calc it really quick. Just keep an eye on the timer fake for me if you don't mind. Max Airstream, yeah. Um, no, it won't KO. However, if they max, then we could KO them with Grassy Glide next turn. I don't know. What do you think? 
I feel like there's no way Dracovish maxes, but... I meant Togekiss, sorry, like that way. We oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'd fake out Dracovish and get an Airstream up. Oh. Um, that could've gone better. So... Okay. What do you think here? My gut says T-Tar and then switch into Dusclops. And bait them into using like a move. Or maybe we just go Dusclops. Oh, jeez. I didn't know that would kill through uh, Salt Vest. Yeah, we have to Eevee. I I, I'm not Eevee for that. We can Eevee for it, but I, I didn't Eevee for it. That's something we'll have to do. I also was thought we'd survive. Okay, we can get, uh... Yeah, we can just bring Tyranitar in. Okay. Right, if they want to hit us with... I mean, if we turn into Steel-type and kill Tyranitar, can Togekiss do anything to us? I don't can think Can it kill so. either one of our guys? No, definitely not. I definitely can't KO... No, it shouldn't be able to KO either of our guys. Um, I'm a little worried about them airstreaming again, and then like going into- actually no, that should be fine, yeah, that should be fine. So you think Steel Spike and Rock Slide? Yeah, oh, does Togus usually have weakness policy? I was thinking Steel Spike the Tyranitar. Yeah, yeah, me too, me too. Yeah. I mean, if we- cause Oh, if we're oh gonna for the Rock Slide. Tyranitar. It might have it, but we'd be Steel type at least, so it shouldn't be able to do that much to us, but- yeah. Alright, yeah. We could, also, we could also protect, like we don't have to- yeah, that's true. I kind of like Rock Slide, though. Yeah, let's. That's not gonna have weakness policy. <laughs> and the actual tournament, we would know. That's the nice thing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I was afraid of that airstream, and then okay, but it's not weakness policy. It's just um, it's just speedy, speedy. We could have considered going for an attack boost there as well, like because that way Draco should have been less scary. Oh yeah, I was. That's true. Yeah, attack boost. Yeah, attack boost would have been better there. Draco just comes back in, okay. Um. We're in a bit of danger here. Although, honestly, like, so. Oh, they might go. They're probably gonna go for airstream and then Fish's Rend. Can that kill Cinderachi now that we have the defense boost? I'm not sure. Like, cause the, if they're Scarf, it'll attack first, and Cinderachi's not that bulky, so I'm not sure. Um, I wish we knuckled last turn. Although that wouldn't really help. Um, yeah. What do you think? Go after Token Kiss or go after Draco this year? Uh, what do you think their last is? Do you think we'll have an option to get Trick Room up if we lose? Yeah. Cinderachi? I do. All, All right. right. Oh, we're actually still faster. That's big. Dang, I could have KO'd Token Kiss there, that's my bad. Okay, but... <laughs> yeah, we're faster. Cinderachi was too fast for them. Okay. <laughs> this is actual nothing. They might be faster than us now. Although, wait, no, double... No, we should still be faster, I think. Oh, Whimsicott's the last. Okay, just Rock Slide and... Um... Iron Head. Let me do a uh, quick damage count while you finish winning that game okay. on uh, Max yeah, Airstrikers Riddle Boom. Yeah. Okay, so right now with Timid, it's a roll. So we gotta put a little bit of special defense. I should Eevee for Modest, right? You think? Just make it safe? Yeah. Okay. It's gonna take a fair bit of investment, but I think that's okay. Ah, oh, it takes 124. Alright, I've updated the spread. Here's the uh, updated spread. You can, this probably isn't optimal, but it's fine for now. Okay. Yeah, because I do think that's something we want to survive. I think crits us will still go down, but yeah, still good to right. live when it doesn't crit. Yeah, I think that looks like a good spread. We still have a bunch of attack. Yeah. Like, if we notice any scenario where we wish we had more attack, then, mm -hmm. you know, we can change it, but... Alright. So Cinderachi my loadup looks pretty strong here to me. Yeah, for sure. So I'm just gonna do that. And then T Tar does clops in the back, because in the right conditions, Tyranitar just destroys this team. Although Primarina's about... going. Yeah. Is Primarina slower than our Tyranitar? Like will it outspeed us in Trick Room? Uh unfortunately it could be. If it's min speed it might be. Hmm.
Well, it's probably not actually. Yeah, I they agree. don't have any way to get trick room up. Oh well, that's an interesting decision. Um. Okay. Nice. What do you reckon we do here? I wonder how much Max Knuckle does to um Snorlax. Because we could just immediately overwrite this draw. Yeah. Yeah, I like Max Knuckle into or. I'm a little worried that if we make it like a fish um, here, then Snorlax might set up on us. Yeah, I like Max Knuckle into Snorlax in uh, Muddy Water. We or Scald. Yeah. Whatever you want. You want to do Helping Hand or you want to do. I'll oh, Scald you sooner. I think they're probably going to take out my Lodic, but that's fine. Yeah, good Helping Hand. Okay, my Lodic gets drowsy. Um. Right, they run Yawn now. Oh, I totally forgot Snorlax has Yawn a lot. Yeah. Um, sh we should switch my Lodic out, I guess? Switch my Lodic to see turn on Max Knuckle the Snorlax? Yep. yep, that's what I would do. Okay, yeah, they're just going to draw my stats and they're going back into Snorlax. That's actually pretty Oh, cool. actually, yeah, I thought about that, because it might use that fire uh Oh, true. True, 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 true. Yeah, yeah, well, Parting Shot was the real... Like, they're going to intimidate us back to neutral, which is annoying. I think High Jump Kick is the right play, like, after playing these games. But what are they going to now? Like, it's kind of awkward. Oh, extra draws, Mold Breaker? Okay. Alright, so if we get Tyranitar in the right position now, we should win pretty easily. Yeah. Um, so, what do you think about Steel Spike into extra draws, which to Dust Box? I really like that, yeah. Because as long as we get Trick Room up, we're yeah, going to win. Yeah, it should be pretty easy in there. And in Excadrill is probably Sash. Yeah. So. Yeah, I was also afraid of Weakness Policy. That was the other thing. Oh, yeah, true. Weakness Policy, too. Yeah, just nothing. Holy cow. They <laughs> <laughs> drop those clots of stats. Okay. Marina. Um. It's kind of awkward to get through this Primarina, but it's fine. Hmm. This is actually kind of awkward, isn't it? Yeah, I was thinking, do you want to play it slow and... Switch to my Lodic? Switch to my Lodic? Yeah, and Trick Room. Yeah. Like we need some damage on this. Once we get some damage on this Primarina, it should be fine. Okay. Uh, recover and Nightshade into Primarina. Yep, I like that. Okay, and then switch to T-Tar here. And then go to T-Tar. Yeah. And now what is the question? <laughs> Scald protect into Primarina. Um, I'm, I'm worried about the weakest policy. Or actually, we could super wait. Could superpower Scald the extra draw is probably pretty good, right? Does that KO? You uh, think? I think my gut says that's... yes. Really? I'm thinking it won't, but we can go for it. Let's see. It's probably good just to learn. Okay. Yeah. Because superpower, I would expect to KO extra drill normally from T-Tar, because it's not that bulky, and it's only plus one defenses. Oh, yeah, that should KO. Let's see. Okay, Hydro Cannon, we actually survive. Let's go. Nice. And we're actually positioning really nicely for the end of Trick Room, where we can go to Cinderachi and just open Yeah, Cinderachi. Yeah. I'll just um, Rock Slide Scald here. Yep. And that'll be G. Actually, uh, was Protect more optimal there? Because next turn we get a Helping Hand Rock Slide? Uh, nah, I think that was proper. Nah, I think it's fine. Alright, it was a little tricky because they played well, but... Like, I think the, the core idea here is fine. Like, yeah. This doesn't feel bad at all. I'll find that. Like, I think we, we're, we're going to have to tweak it a little bit, but I think it should work decently okay. 
Yeah, I like the idea we have going on here. Yeah. Okay, interesting. This is what I would expect to play against. What are we... So, Titar and Trump oh, are no, pretty I... strong here. How do I don't know? I can't tell by the sprite whether it's female or male. That's female. Okay. It also tells you right below it. Like, you see where it says level 50 right below? Oh, I see it. If so that's, that's helpful. Yeah. Um, my Lodix Cinderachi, because we can just Oko everything here. Yeah, I and like it. Titar Dusclops, because we can just win in the back. Uh. Yeah, I think that'll be good. We're min speed on Tyranitar? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good then. Okay. So my gut here is like Icy Wind and Steel Spike or something. Or Airstream. I like the Icy Wind. I'm thinking... Hmm. Do you think Air... Airstream might be better, yeah. Because that gives us the advantage next turn. Guaranteed. Yeah. Yeah, I like air. Oh, but oh, sorry, I already did it. Yeah, I like air. Okay, yeah. No, I like air. Uh, air stream and icy one. Okay. Whee! Oh, it lived. Wait, it lived. Oh, wait, that's oh. bad. Did not expect that. It's a very bulky and DD. Hold on, we're in trouble. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. Well, that's not great. We can't really do anything except Steel Spike and hope they use the wrong move, right? Yeah. Oh, they used the wrong move. And we burn them. Man, you're uh, you're like 20 seconds ahead of me. Oh, I'm sorry. I just, I always click skip turn. <laughs> My bad. I don't play on Showdown, so I didn't even know I could do that. No. Okay, nice. We got burned. Nice. <laughs> Um, <laughs> let's go. Okay. Huh. So my gut here would say Scald the Rillaboom to start fishing for burns. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing else. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, there's not really anything else we can do. Right, like, we, or, I mean, so, we basically either, I think we... Or... Yeah. Yeah, Rillaboom's gonna be the biggest problem, so... I think getting a scald on it is all right. I'm gonna. You think we should target the Cinderace here? No, I'm just double the Rillaboom. Yeah. Part of me was thinking about. Nah, it's probably dumb. I see. I like, to it's, this is gonna. This is a speed tie, right? Yeah. Our Spirachis. Okay, then I'd go for it. Yeah. I'd scald Rillaboom and. Uh... Oh, we lost. This We've lost every single one of these. Yeah, I know. Av. Okay, that's good to know. I was also thinking possibly switching out our Cinderachi, but yeah. it's probably stupid. No, I think it might have been better because like we can always come back in later once we've dealt with theirs. Because we might lose now because they're gonna if they have Incineroar on the back, I think it's gonna be pretty difficult to win. Actually, regardless of what they have in the back, I think we lose here. Yeah, the stupid uh, grassy yeah. glide. Well, like because basically they switched to Incineroar this turn and like oh they didn't switch. Glide. Oh, oh, they think that was. Okay. If they didn't have Grassy Glide, we could Rock Slide them. We could still Rock Slide them. Well, yeah, but they won't flinch. That's true. Um, no, but I mean, I, I, I mean, we kind of have to just go for Bulldoze and uh, Rock Slide. Yeah. Oh my oh, God! <laughs> what? Wait, how strong is that move? It's just that strong. Oh my god. Okay, well, GG. GG. <laughs> Wait, that thing is ins It one shot our T tar at plus one? Yeah. With a priority move. That's like Mock Punch, but Grass type. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that wasn't great. Okay, that wasn't good. <laughs> uh, Rillaboom is a little bit of an issue. Yeah. Yeah. Pokemon's OP. <laughs> Maybe we needed Togekiss. Yeah, yeah. Some. Maybe no Milotic there, but I just got spooked by the Incineroar, which they didn't even bring. Yeah. Oh my god, this is like my team, but they updated This is like my Colossal team, but they updated it. Ah, it's actually not that much like Colossal. 
Ah, it's pretty oh, cool. Nice. They got fire, grass, water, Porygon. Wait, how do we right. be Colossal? Uh... Togekiss Dusclops? Yeah... Uh... Yeah, actually, that would... Because if we can't really do work. anything else, I think, unfortunately. Well, we could, uh... I have no idea how much Milotic does to Colossal. No, it does Probably not shot, and the Colossal will overlook like everything. Yeah, I guess we have to go Togekiss uh, Dusclops. I think, uh, T-Tar them in the back. Yeah. Did you know what hey, at least if, oh, sorry, go ahead. At least if we max Tyranitar, we're not gonna die in one shot to, uh, Rillaboom. <laughs> Why is Rillaboom so strong? The heck? What were you about to say? Do you know what team Yuri used to win the, uh, Players' Cup Invitational? I just saw that he had, uh, Bisharp and Cinderachi. Yeah, I was wondering if, there, if you remember anything else. I'm actually gonna I think all the games are on YouTube. Yeah, I can go look them up. They popped up in my recommended for you. <laughs> <laughs> um... Oh my god, Rillaboom is insanely strong. What the heck? It wasn't even close to roll. Oh, it's Stevie Rillaboom and Sash Dragapult. Okay. Oh god, no. Now it is going to be able to one-shot our Tyranitar. <laughs> You're right, it actually is. <laughs> I'm going to air slash the Rillaboom Trick Room because we're, uh, we're Serene Grace on this team. Okay, I like it. Also, yeah, because they could do... Oh, that's not good. So... I think uh, a taunt and switch here could be good. Yeah. To Tyranitar, you mean? Yeah, I think so. And taunt yeah. to Dragapult, because that way they can't get Reflect up, and then we can go Bulldoze, Max Rock, and KO the Colossal. If we taunt Colossal, can it Max Guard or no? No. Should we taunt? You think we should taunt it? Yeah, I feel like maybe that would be better. Yeah. Well... Oh, never mind. Oh, well. No, you were totally right on that. I yeah, but not for the reasons I thought. Um, you wanna? You think we can one shot this poor? I think we can one shot Porygon. You wanna go for it? Just cause it's funny. Let's go for it. I wanna see it. I yeah. wanna see it too. <laughs> if it doesn't, if it doesn't KO, it's cause Shodan is bugged. Everybody, just so you're aware. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause if we get plus two T-Tar and they go into Rillaboom, we can protect and then switch back into uh, Togekiss, and then we can't Grassy Glide us. I really just want to see this damage. <laughs> yeah, I don't even care if we lose. I just, I just want to see. Quag champ. Come on, switch to Rillaboom. Switch to Rillaboom. Come on. Switch to Rillaboom. Yes. Uh -uh. Okay. Thank you for reducing our bulldoze damage. Oh, big damage. <laughs> oh, we're not gonna get we never got to know. <laughs> That's so lame. Colossal. Um, I kind of want to protect and switch here into Togekiss. Yeah. I like that. Oh, that didn't work. They got us. Okay. And then fake out and max darkness, I guess, into the Rillaboom. Wait, I forgot to skip turn. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, fake out Rillaboom and Max Darkness Rillaboom? Yeah, they, they can't stop it. And Colossal's yeah. not a threat whatsoever, so... Oh, I should use Max Darkness. Oh, wait, it doesn't matter. Um, oh, no, and Grassy Terrain's gone, so we don't get our... Uh, we don't get our thing. Wait, are we gonna lose? I think we're gonna lose. I think we have to. Oh, they're gonna proc weakness policy this turn. Oh, we oh, we messed up. Oh no. Oh, all our stuff ran out. Yeah, all our stuff I ran wasn't out. even. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention to that. Okay, that was not the optimal play last turn. <laughs> I think we rock fall the claw. They're gonna surf here to proc the weakness policy. I think. So yeah. I, I think we go into the colossal this turn. Man, uh, if we still had Grassy Terrain up, we could at least Grassy Glide all over the place. Yep. 
Oh, that was stupid. That was really stupid. Oh, no. Oh, I should have targeted the Dragapult, was I thinking? Oh no! Uh. Oh! It's too strong. Rillaboom is too strong. Maybe we should use Choice Spinner Rillaboom. Yeah, maybe. This thing is. Well, I don't know. I feel like uh, all of the Rillabooms are OP. <laughs> it's so strong! Alright. I think we should call it there for the night. Um, yeah. My brain is tired. I feel like we have some strong stuff, but we're gonna need to do some refining tomorrow. I agree. Yeah, you can text me when you get up. I'll yeah. try and step later and we can uh, get on another call. I'll try and wake up earlier. Um, but yeah, you can. I'll, I'll paste you the current version so that you have it, and then you can like feel some free to like play some games and like mess around while I'm asleep. And that way, when I wake all right, up, I can, yeah, like, play a couple games with it. Yeah, cool. Well, uh, you wanna you wanna plug anything before we head off here? Tell people to follow you anywhere. Or anything yeah, like that? I'm gonna be starting streaming again. You know, I've hit that rock bottom boredom of coronavirus time, so <laughs> hey, it's time to play some Pokemon. <laughs> so you can follow me on Twitch. Uh, What's Ray the Rizzo, I think it was Ray Rizzo VGC. That sounds about right. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, Ray Rizzo VGC. Three-time world champ, guys. Yeah, check him out. Um, yeah. Cool. Well, uh, yeah, uh, we'll probably have some more of this content for you all. Um, we're gonna yeah, stay more, tuned for part two. Part two, yeah. Sure. Cool. All right. Have a good night, everybody, and yeah, see you next time for the next video. Goodbye, viewers. <laughs>